Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my train room. I think there's something missing. Oh yes, let's start again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my room. Over the last week or so, I have been creating up the railroad, ready for a move to a new basement. Um, house, sorry. This morning I tore down the lighting valence and I'm in the middle of burning that. I've still got a lot of crap attached to the walls. I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to fix the drywall, turn the room into pristine condition to sell the house. Fixing holes in drywall is quite simple. Cut a block of scrap wood, this is one by four, or the size is not critical. Just put it behind the hole and screw it in place. I've already started the screws just to make it easier to hold them. And they've got to be a little bit overdriven so that they're under flush. And then just cut a patch put it in the hole and then just add some more screws to hold the patch in. You've got to make sure you don't push too hard to pull those screws out and that's all it needs. Next step now is just come back and tape it, mud it, finish it. When faced with an irregular hole like this most people would tell you to cut it out and then cut a patch to the right size. There's an easier way. Just cut a piece of drywall big enough to cover it. Draw around it and now cut the hole. And now the process is exactly the same as the other hole from here on. But all the holes are filled and I've done the first coat of mud. Now normally I would buy Easy Sand 20 for it but I had plaster of Paris in stock so I used that. The trick is to get all the big holes filled with a quick setting plaster so I can go over it today. If I try to do big areas with drywall mud it would take forever to dry and it would crack. The drywall patch up is now finished. I'm all ready to paint it. When I started dismantling the layout, I didn't realize just how much of the walls were going to need patching. But we're just about done now. Just take me a few hours with a paint roller and then I can call this room fixed. There's just as much repair work in the closet as well, although that's not as visible because, it's the, wa because the walls are white. As you can see, the layout has now completely disappeared. It has been created up for moving to a new basement. And I spent the last week or so 
repairing the drywall and refinishing this room, ready for the new owners. I'm sure they won't have anywhere near as good a use for it as I did, but then once they've bought it, they can use it for whatever they want to. So here I am signing off for the last time, or the last time at this site anyway. There is no longer any evidence that there was ever a railroad in this room. Well, I am all packed up and ready to leave. I am saying goodbye to my home for the last time. The home that I built with my own two hands. Climbing my basement stairs for the last time. There's a lot of mess in the house. And Ellie is staying behind for a few days to get that cleaned up. And she's gonna be meeting me in Tennessee. So here we are, leaving through my front door for the last time. We've already filled one dumpster and we have another mountain of trash to get rid of. And here is my truck all loaded up with a few of my books and tools in the trailer. All the furniture went in a semi. But since I'm paying the movers by the pound, I felt that a lot of the small heavy stuff would be best kept with me. And here's my two dogs, all ready to go. Hi Zeus, hi Duke. Say hi to the viewers. All right. Fixing holes in drywall is rather easy. Just cut some blocks of scrap wood. This is one by four. Just stuff it in behind the hole. Make sure the drawers on forward instead of backwards. Fixing the holes in the drywall is rather simple. Start by cutting blocks of scrap wood. This is just a piece of a one by four and get some drywall screws. Once you get them started, they're easy. Fixing holes in drywall is quite simple. Cut a block of scrap wood. This is one by four, although the size is not critical. Just put it behind the hole and screw it in place. I already started the screws. I couldn't get my ring out through the hole. For new construction, I use the paper tape, but for remodeled work like this, it's a self adhesive mesh.
Yes. <laughs>